Good morning guys, welcome to another episode of season four from my home for the past two weeks has been this parking lot. The Walmart is there. It's kind of like a station, a bus station almost. And I've stayed here really my whole time I've been in Frisco or Silverthorne. Morning. Morning. How'd you sleep? So hard that I hit my head on the table. <laughs> Today is Copper Mountain opening day and it looks to be another beautiful day for our fifth opening day of the year and our 14th ski day of the entire year. I do think it's a little bit strange that it's a Monday opening. I don't know if there's like reason behind opening on a Monday compared to like a Friday, but alas, we're here for it. We are gonna head west from Frisco to Copper. <laughs> Okay. Behind my road right Just here. go around. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you, man. The stoke is high for Copper Mountain opening day. The parking lot seems to be a little bit more lit than our previous opening days but before we get out we are making up some breakfast and we're getting a little bit more crazy i forgot i had potatoes so i'm gonna make like a little breakfast bowl with some potatoes o'brien making up some spicy sausage and eggs cilantro I'm gonna sort of put it all together Tara is going to be skiing today because we are back on an icon mountain so a lot of these mountains in youth in colorado have been epic only so this would be tara's fifth day a basin, Julie, a basin, a basin, Winter Park, and Eldora. Eldora. Fifth day. Day five. I know. That's impressive. That's more than a lot of people get all year. So yeah, it should be a good little day. <laughs> Keaton, Yo, what up, dude? What's up, bro? Oh, How are you? Good to see you, you too, dude. dude. My buddy Keaton from grad school. What's Keaton, up? We used to ride all the time. We got like 60 days one year. We would like go ski a base and come back for class. In so. that, we scheduled class for Thursday nights yep. so that we could go ski in the morning and then get back for our like <laughs> exactly. 6 p.m. classes. Keaton was a big part of sort of like elevating my ski experience and stuff and just having someone to ride with and tackle a basin and stuff. So he came up, we linked up for copper. So come on in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat and stuff? What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So we had to board a bus from the parking lot and then it's going to take us over to the center village which I believe is the only thing that's open today. Bus rides. Short little bus ride to the main village. Commence the 2023-2024 Copper Mountain opening day. Pretty smooth. Pretty stoked. Pretty stoked. Let's do it! Well, we don't have any fresh snow this year. They do have the other chair open. So it's kind of cool. We have two chairs. We'll get a little bit more vert, but we can kind of do like some proper top to bottom. So I'm down for it. 
Definitely not gonna complain about two chairs. Help spread people out. A little bit more vert. There, do you wanna make those poles longer? They're really short right now. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> go 105. Tell me if that's too short. Too long. That's better actually. They're still pretty short. Alright, let's try that. Alright guys. Have fun. Be safe. Be safe. We'll kind of converge at that where the lift is. Okay? Alright guys. And we are here. Look at the beautiful view though. I say that every time, but I really can't help myself. Run one with my good buddy Keaton, my girlfriend Tara. So it's a little unorthodox opening day, but it's a fun one. That's what skiing's all about. I don't have much edge. Whoa! Whoa! Watch out for the homies. We're good. For the, for the most part. A little bit loose. Nice. Nice. Super nice. There's also, of course, a little park for you guys. Lots of different types of features. Nice. How'd it feel? That was a little sketchy. It was a little sketchy. It was a little bit. It was I like slid out a little. How was it? Actually felt really good. Did it? A little, a little slippery. Yeah, there was kind of like hard you can't pack. use the I word around here. Or hard pack. Yeah, hard pack. <laughs> slippery. Yeah. Down to the bottom. We'll What's do it all over again. So now this is like kind of the second part of the stuff that's open. Slow trail, top to bottom. But I like it because there's like different pitches. Long run. Let's see, left side or right side?
like a free fall. No one's on the run, let's go. Damn, you were bucking. 56 miles an hour. No shit. That's what I just did. <laughs> to see you. Great to see you. Thanks for coming out. Of course. Thanks for skiing a few laps with yeah. me. Nice to meet you, dude. Be yeah. safe out there. Nice to meet you, brother. Later. I'm very impressed. I think Copper did a great job with their coverage. They're still making. The groomers are nice, all that sort of stuff. So it's cool to have a nice long run. Granted, you have to take two lifts up. It still moves pretty quickly. Uh, and then you kind of left with a nice lot of vert with a lot of different pitches, which I think makes for a good opening day when you can have some steep stuff, some more mellow stuff and all that. This is my favorite opening day yet. Why that? Um, yeah, I like the longer run. It's a wider run. The snow is actually really great. And look at the views. That's actually a better update than I can. <laughs> So about a week ago, I think when I was at Winter Park, I got an Instagram DM from a homie named Patrick who just said he's, I don't know, watches the channel, likes the videos, and he's a professional photographer in the Colorado area. And so we set up a little, yeah, we're gonna set up like a little photo shoot. What up, dude? Patrick? Yeah, Lucas, what's up, dude? Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Nice you. You're I'm, on the vlog. So. I'm on the vlog, yeah. shit. I like to do a few laps or of me doing like follow cam with you with this guy, and then do a few where like I will go down like, say 30 seconds ahead of you and then get you coming through and you're coming equipped my friend hello <laughs> love these walkie talkies it, it, you feel so it's cool like, dude i'm, I'm like so on the band right now official right now okay. guys i have a walkie talkie you ready to rock and roll yeah you, yeah i guess i'll just ski yeah just ski, <laughs> yes, I'll follow, and then okay plan we've done two laps with the follow cam photos but I think we're gonna do some stationary yeah okay copy I'm gonna wait a little bit until some of these people pass Are you okay off in between the trough and be like actually yeah yeah i'll put myself in between the trough the two rollers and then shoot you as you come through to cool with that i'm sorry i got taken out by a snowboarder can you just repeat that again what you want me to do um yeah so going through i want to pop off the first roller because the second one about 20 feet past so i'll sit in between two rollers and then shoot you as you come on through what's up man yeah, what up, dude? How you doing? I thought I spotted you on the lift earlier. Like, See, that's oh, me, nice man. <laughs> nice to meet you, dude. What's your name? Matt. Matt, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, dude. you too, brother. Nice, dude. Uh, so what are you wearing, Chance? We got like an actual camera. I got, I got a proper camera in the back. I'll be, I'm a videographer. Do you want a shot? What kind of camera you have? A7R5. I'll be right back. Okay. What's your name? I'm Frank. Frank, I'm nice Lucas. You. Nice to meet you. Thank you.
Well, Squad, to be honest, that was probably one of the most fun yet chaotic, disorienting days I've had of the 14 so far. It was so great to see my, my best buddies from grad school, Keaton. I mean, it was cool to meet so many of you guys, but I feel like it didn't truly showcase like the opening day of Copper like I have with other resorts. But with the photo shoot and then like the little sporadic video thing at the end, it's kind of just like a very raw sort of representation of what I did today. I think Copper did a great job their opening day from the uh, groomers, the coverage, all that sort of stuff. Cool to see two lifts open. So hats off to Copper. But unfortunately, I think now our Colorado trip has come to a close. I am doing a boot fitting appointment tomorrow in Utah. I have some stuff with Luna I need to do on Wednesday. So I'm going to drive about two and a half hours west to Grand Junction tonight, sleep at a truck stop, and then do the rest tomorrow so I can be um, in Park City in the afternoon for my boot fitting sort of checkup so that's kind of it kind of crazy i feel like it was just yesterday we were just coming out here so yeah some early season preseason stoke there's a lot more on the way but for now we're gonna head back take a few days off and get ready for the utah utah season to start squad i made it to a loves here in grand junction i've stayed at this loves quite a few times when i was doing my like weekend rippers a few years ago to Colorado or whatnot this place is pretty nice if you guys know me I love truck stops I just think they're like one of the best things for sort of on the road stuff so you got bathrooms coffee food everything you need right in here so the drive was about two and a half hours and sort of like really dark curvy road so not something I recommend doing at night but I'm gonna try to finish out this video for you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this rather chaotic yet fun and eventful video. I'll be back in Utah and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, squad. Peace out.